Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is Making Windows XP Usable in 2024. So, as you can see, this Dell Inspirion 1720 is running Windows XP. This has a Core 2 Duo to give up to RAM, and it has a NVIDIA uh, 8400, and I think, and see, yeah. G4s, 8400, and yes, that is what this laptop is. And also, for proof, it is running Windows XP Professional X64 Edition. So, let's get started. The first thing you need when you're trying to make a device work in the modern age is a web browser that lets you browse the modern web. Thankfully for Windows XP and people who want to use Windows XP in the modern age, there is Supremium. This brings modern web browsing to Windows XP and it does actually run pretty well. So right here you can see me bring up YouTube. And you can go, you can search for whatever video you want, and as you can see, it is running fine. There was a little stutter. I mean, this specific computer is 17 years old. No, it's 18. What can it do? It can vote. That's what it can do. Because, like, at uh, most, yeah, whatever. That That is... What I was about to say does not matter for the video, but as you can see, it is running completely fine. This computer is 18 years old, software is 23 years old, and it's running this modified modern web browser completely fine. It can kind of play videos, like right here. Let's start a little bit. Did I just click on that? May now register. But yeah, this, this play. Hey guys, right. the chop, the audio is a little choppy, and the video is frame rate right. is kind of dipping. But this computer is eighteen years old, twenty-three year old software. Like without this web browser, that would not be possible. And like. This can basically visit the whole bottom web. It won't do the best, probably. Like, I'll go to Apple.com here. Although I didn't just knew that the search bar was already there. But it is browsing the modern web basically flawlessly. Like, look at that. And, and look at the Windows XP dot. You could technically daily drive this thing if you didn't, like, have any need for outside apps and just use Chrome. So it's basically a glorified Chromebook with, like, old application support, I guess. But this is really cool and is basically the main point of the video because this with most modern things take place on a web browser. That's basically all you need. And um, I'll leave the link for the web browser to premium in the description. But now let's move on to something else that would make this more modern is apps. You can't really do that. I just wanted to mention it like you can only use old apps. There's not like a patcher to like make newer apps compatible. There is. I did try it actually. Forgot about that. There is. For me, it didn't work. So, um, yeah. There is a way, I guess, but, like, it would be so clunky, like, why are you using Windows XP? Just make a theme at this point. But, yeah. With app support-wise, you can't really get much further than you're already at. But another thing that would be useful 
in Windows XP, since it is 10 years out of date, is, guess what is? An antivirus. But since antiviruses are apps, now that's, that wouldn't work very well. So, um, Windows XP is still vulnerable. Still Kyle wondering if I shouldn't have this connected to my Wi-Fi. But, but we can, we can figure that out later. Figure that out later. Um, one thing you could do though, is since you have a modern web browser right here, go to the Chrome, whoa, Chrome web store right here. Go right here. Oh, wow. Yeah. It just, it doesn't always load everything correctly. But I'm looking for is malware bytes with that is spell it wrong. For my spell. I'm using a wireless spell, so it's this this very information. One, two, three, four. Right. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. It's basically just like a browser guard and this is basically the best you can do with Windows XP when it comes to anything like antivirus related. You could install an old version of an antivirus, but I don't think that would help much. But if you it does if it does, let me know in the comments. But for what I think, not really. But another annoying thing you could do is gaming. What is the hub for gaming and installing games? That would be Steam. But Steam only supports Windows 10 and 11. It does kind of support Windows 7 and 8.1. 8. But that is the help us in this situation. I don't need to touch on that. And also, like you have to download a specific version for those three anyway. But there's no way really... That's practical to get Windows, not Windows, or we say Steam working on this thing reliably. Like, what you'd have to do is you can't download games. You have to transfer them from your actual computer to this one. Which, which kind of breaks the illusion of using Windows XP in 2024. So, one thing I'd like to show is... That you can use discs. Here is SimC4. Oh, well, you need to play games, but I can go right here, take out this little disc right here, throw it over there, and I can put in this game and I can play it just as it was meant to be in Windows XP. Well, let's go. And see the fight for the disc show up. Show it up automatically, right? And there it is. You can install the game as needed and actually use it. But that is basically all you can do with Windows XP in 20. 24. You can basically use it for modern web browsing, which is pretty cool. Now, like files and stuff, you get the full experience of modern web browsing. A little bit of caveats, because like you saw it playing Mecha video, it wasn't the best. But that is how you make Windows XP usable in 2024. And that's basically all you can do. But let me know if there's more that I missed, because I could make a sequel. But that is it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And bye.